Hey there, St. Paul family and whoever else happens to be watching. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It is good to be with you today once again as I pick up these weekly video devotions based on the Psalms. Uh, before I get to that, I just wanted to point out my Schwachman Diamond t-shirt. Uh, today is the day that a friend, friend of the program and of our congregation, Wade Wachter, is having his biopsy done. And though you're watching it uh, a day or, or even later than that, I uh, would appreciate it if you would just say a prayer for Wade that his uh, test results would come back with good news and uh, just want Wade to know that we're thinking of him and praying for him. I noticed behind me that I have failed to put away my nativity scene as well now that we are in the season of Epiphany. In fact, again, today, the day I am recording, is the first day of Epiphany in which God's glory in Jesus is revealed to the nations. Uh, and in fact, we will be celebrating this Sunday the baptism of Jesus and remembering our own baptism as well. The psalm assigned for this Sunday is Psalm 29. So I encourage you to pause the video, look up Psalm 29, and read that psalm out loud. The word of the day from today's psalm is voice, the voice of the Lord. The Voice is a TV program that started all the way back in 2011. It seems impossible that it's been on for that long, but the concept, at least from the, the beginning of The Voice, is that the judges would be turned around in chairs. They wouldn't be able to see the singer who comes out, and uh, the singer would, would start a song, and these are called the, the blind auditions. And if the judge liked what they'd hear, they would push a button, and it would turn around, and, and the chair would light up as the judge says, I want you. Well, according to Psalm 29, if we heard the voice of God, we would probably be pretty terrified. Just listen again to what the voice of the Lord does. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness and strips the forest bare. Yes, the, the voice of the Lord is powerful. It creates, but it also destroys. You know, sometimes we humans wish that we could hear God's voice speaking to us, but we should be careful what we wish for. We sinners run the risk of being destroyed by the powerful and holy voice of the Lord. And yet at Christmas time, we just celebrated the word of God becoming flesh. The word of God is Jesus. Jesus is the voice of the Lord in the flesh speaking to us. And Jesus doesn't come to shake the wilderness. He doesn't come to condemn or to destroy. But through Jesus, the voice of the Lord forgives. The voice of the Lord heals. The voice of the Lord is full of compassion and mercy and love. And in your baptism, the voice of the Lord speaks through the voice of your pastor. And in that moment, through water and word, God speaks to you and he says, I want you. You are my beloved child. With you I am well pleased. As the hymn, Thy Strong Word, puts it, Thy Strong Word bespeaks us righteous, bright with thine own holiness. That is, the voice of the Lord declares us to be righteous and holy. Yes, the voice of the Lord is powerful. It creates, it destroys, it forgives, it raises to new life. It does exactly what it says that it will do. The voice of the Lord is best heard through the word made flesh, Jesus. And so ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. For our time of reflection, I want you to think about this question. What words of God do you need to hear in your life today? 
I want you to think of and, and look up some of your favorite Bible passages, some of the, your favorite promises that God makes to you, and read those aloud to yourself. Look them up and read them aloud. Or, if you're in a group with your family, uh, speak those words and promises from God to each other. Go ahead and pause the video and do that right now. Will you pray with me? O word of God, you became flesh to be our Savior. Help us to hear your powerful voice through Jesus. Amen. Our song of the day is Thy Strong Word, and uh, I have included a, a link uh, below this video to a version by Koine. Again, you're probably familiar with them by now. They do a, a great, uh, more modern version of this song, but there are plenty of versions that you can find on YouTube or your favorite music app, and you're welcome to look up those as well as we sing about uh, the strong and powerful Word of God and what God does for us through his voice. Until next time, God's grace and peace be with you all.